Hi friends, it's me, Mary, and I'm back. I have another haul video for you today. Um, I went to several stores looking for the Christmas um, sales, or the after Christmas sales, I should say. And I found lots of goodies, and I found lots of stuff that wasn't on the after Christmas sale too that I wanted. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today and thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, let's start off with, um, let's see here, Target. So Target, I got this cute little popcorn canister. It's like one of those popcorn carts and I thought that this was just so cute. This was $5, so I definitely had to pick that up and I'll you know, use this for storage in my scrapbook room. My son loved this, so I had to pick it up. It's called Better Together, and it's the gel cling, so it's got the jelly and the peanut butter and the eggs and bacon, and that was definitely really cute. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got sort of a cold. And I did get some after Christmas sale stuff. I got these cute honeycomb trees, which I thought would be very cute if you cut them in half and used them in like a junk journal or something. So these were only 30 cents because they were 90% off. So I don't know if it has the price on them anymore if I'm missing it. But anyway, they were $3 and then 90% off. Same thing with these. Um, this little tree garland. I thought they were really cute. Comes with the twine and then the sparkly trees. Then I had to pick these up again. I know I got them last year. Um, they're a little bit different. They have bluer eyes, um, like lighter blue eyes, I should say. So these are $5 a piece and aren't they so cute? I love these little birds. Here's that one, and then here's the complimentary one. They're Spritz brand, and I went on the first day I think they were having Valentine's out, and there were probably like six or seven sets, and I went back yesterday, which is the second day, <laughs> and they had none. So if you want them, you better get them quick because people just snap them up. I think they're the cutest. And then also from Target, let me take these little things out of here, but I got the cutest little box. It's this one, it says special delivery on it, fresh cut roses, chocolate and wine, and this was $5, but I thought this would be cute for just putting my little embellishments in there while I was doing a scrapbook page or a journal. And that's all I got from Target. So I'll put these aside so I don't break them. <laughs> and then I ordered from Shinuki Art several months ago. Um, she is another YouTuber and she does some great artwork. Um, she does junk journals and they are just beautiful and she also does handmade embellishments so I thought I'd order some from her. She, like I said she's in Australia so when you order from her it does take quite a while and it took about three months had passed <laughs> And I still hadn't received my order, so I texted or I emailed her, and she said, yeah, I should have received them by then, so they probably were lost in the mail. So she sent me another one. So I thought that was so nice of her to do that. So here's what she sent me. Um, these tags, I thought they were so pretty, so I ordered a bunch of them. I love this, like, ripped bed sheet or whatever that is on the top. So I got those. And then these are gorgeous. I love how she makes these. They're on like index cards. I think this is like my favorite. I did make some like this for my Christmas December daily. So not exactly like blue in these colors, but um, I did follow her process to do this. Aren't they gorgeous? It is a process, too, because there's so many layers to them, but I think it's worth it. 
And then she's got these cute like little specimens. Escape the Ordinary and Wild at Heart. So pretty. And then lastly, I ordered some plain cards. And I'm not sure how she did this. I haven't watched a process video on these. But it looks like rice paper on top or coffee dyed rice paper on top. I'm not sure if you know or can tell me. So that's what I ordered from her. From Color Kiss Designs, or Color Kiss Silk, I should say. I got more Sari Silk, so I got this one, High Tide. Isn't that pretty? It's like an aqua and gray color. Then I got this one, Victorian, which I love, the purple color. And then Silver Streak, which is just gorgeous. I also picked up mint, which is a lot like the turquoise color I got, so I don't know. I wish it was more minty, but it's still pretty. And then I ordered another withering rose because I loved this one so much. It just looks like, you know, a crushed rose petal. So I'll put these to the side. And then we'll move on to Dollar Tree. Where I found lots of like, actually, we'll go to scrapbook.com first. For the free gifts, they gave me these Doodlebug Designs Candy Cane Lane Ephemera Pack. So look at what you get in there. Isn't that cute? It's called an exclusive Ephemera Variety Pack. So I don't know if you can actually buy this one or not. But you get lots of good little die cuts in there. And then you also got for free this Echo Park um, die cut cardstock pieces pack. Isn't that pretty with a little penguin? I think that's so cute. I probably um, will have a hard time using these in all the blues. I usually love using like all the colors in my books and pages. So, but these, you know, will get used eventually, probably here and there. And then I picked up this one. This is the Orange Peel Quilt 3D Embossing Folder. I think that I saw Jen from Strawberry Cream 39 pick this one up, or it might have been Chasing Retro. I'm not sure, girl, ladies, um, which one of you it was, but either way, thank you so much for showing me this. I love it. Um, I just got into quilting recently, and this is gorgeous, so I had to pick it up. Um, it was a little pricey, but I just thought it would be worth it because I just love this orange peel. Isn't that pretty? How they would, you know, puff up in the middle. I don't know. I just loved it. It's a quilt pattern, orange peel. I also picked up this Down the Chimney paper pad. And I really loved the colors in it. And I think what got me here is, because I really don't need any more paper, as you all know, <laughs> is the pearl foil. I think that's really different. It's really pretty. So let's go ahead and look through this real quick. Here's all the cut aparts. It's front and back. Cute Santas. Candy canes. And look how pretty that foil is. I just love it. They even have it on the white page too. And look at those stars. So pretty. Paige Evans is actually doing another um, Page Pales class. Page Pales 4. And she has a layout that looks like this. And I can't wait. And the snowmen are super cute. I love the stripe. Pretty stars with the pearl foil. Gingerbreads and snowmen and Santas. And look at these cute little reindeer. And the little holly and the tiny stockings. I mean, these are just like... Tiny, tiny. Here's the little gingerbread, and I love this one. So 
so pretty. And then here's the last page. Love that. So I also picked up the um, 12 by 12 because I use this for my scrapbook layouts. So I got that one. And I think that's all I got from scrapbook.com. So moving along to Dollar Tree, I did pick up a few random things like these self laminating sheets. I thought these would be really cute for like junk journaling things if I wanted to laminate a couple things without dragging out my whole, you know, huge laminator. <laughs> I also picked up this cute little calendar. I decided that I'm only going to spend a certain amount of money each month on scrapbooking <laughs> or crafting stuff. So um, I'm going to keep it on this little calendar here, how much I spend each day. So of course, that's a great New Year's resolution, right? <laughs> Then I got these cute little hearts, which I used on um, something from Dollar Tree, which I'll show you in a minute. I picked up some more paint brushes for my son. He was asking for some more, and I thought these looked better quality than the other ones. So I also got these really cute hearts, the wooden hearts. Then they had some nice sticker packs. I usually don't pick them up anymore because I just found that I haven't used them, but aren't these cute? The little lovebirds and the typewriter. It looks a lot like one of the collections that I bought from scrapbook.com actually. So I like those. And then I just couldn't pass these up because I love all the goodies. But they look sort of childish, I think. I don't know if I'll use them on scrapbooks or if I'll just put them on the outside of envelopes or or what. And then these bags were really cute. So I picked those up, the X's and O's. I also ran out of sticky notes, so I picked up some of those by Jot. And then I love these, the paper cups that they have. They also have them in pink, um, but I didn't see them this year, so I just grabbed the gold. I love these for Mod Podge, you know, just like you can use them for one and done cups. You don't have to wash it out or anything. And then I got these ones, the shot cups for when I splatter my white paint on the pages. Again, just like a one and done cup. Then my son really wanted to paint these. So we got some of those, <clears throat> excuse me. And then he also wanted to make um, a scrapbook. And so he's six years old, and so I thought these would be good to start with. You know, we could decorate the front of them and put pictures inside. So we got some of those. Love these for when I acrylic paint, for when I use acrylic paint. I picked up one of the decorative meshes. Um, I did run out of this pink color, so I just picked up the light pink. I have a ton of the hot pink left. Then I saw these large index cards, so I'm going to try my hand at coffee dyeing these. I didn't, you know, I just don't want to mess with coffee dyeing the paper and putting them in the oven and stuff like that, but I will um, do the coffee dyeing on the index cards and let them, you know, air dry. So I'm going to try that. And then also I saw these sticky notes, Good Times. Isn't that a cute little set? So I thought so. Then I didn't see these last year, but they might have had them. The pom-pom garland. I thought these were really cute strung on there. So I picked up the pink. They had pink and red too. And then for my son's Valentine's, I missed out on getting them at the Dollar Tree last year. And I wasn't going to this year <laughs> because um, he really wanted some with like little toys on them. And so this year they had these little skateboard ones. So I thought that was so cute. He loves them. So I got some of those. And he also picked out some of these putties and you know he likes the putty and I like the container so it works out well. <laughs> also picked up some shred. The pink is always nice for Valentine's Day and then the white too. Um, I did want to get some of that 
like iridescent tinsel to mix in with the white. So I'm going to have to look on Amazon to see if they have it. And then one of my favorite things that I found there were these plates. Um, they shake with glitter inside. Isn't that cool? I don't know if you can see the movement of the glitter inside, but it's sort of like staticky right now, but you definitely have movement of glitter in there. So it's so pretty. So I got that one. And then I got the red one. So I love those just, you know, to have on your desk for your little tchotchkes and stuff like that. And then lastly from Dollar Tree, I got this kissing booth. I thought that this was so cute. So I picked this up, but it was damaged. <laughs> and it was this only, the only one left with the hot pink stripe and the red. They had a bunch of those pink ones left, but I really wanted this one. And so it was missing the heart here and the banner like had stripes in the middle right here on this flag and it was sort of uneven so I liked the heart there better then I added the camera and then I added this heart right here so I thought it turned out cute so I'm going to display this in my um, room and what else did I get um, oh yeah so I also went to Michael's and they had a great sale on all of their Christmas stuff and it was 70% off. So I got these cute clips. I got these snowflake um, stamps and dies. And I really loved these. These are candy molds, but you know, you could use them for the hot, with the hot glue, the colored hot glue that is, if you wanted to, or resin, and then the poinsettias. So I got those. Got these nice snowflakes, the gold and the silver. And then these you can use as die cuts, you know, just take them off the toothpicks. I always do that. Then I didn't even see these at Christmas, but they had these rolls of paper. Gosh, I got cat fur everywhere in here today because I let my cat in here yesterday. Um, but I love these. They're like natural paper, like almost like handmade. So I got a bunch of these. But aren't they pretty? I love the Holly one. And then the stuff that wasn't on sale, I still picked up. <laughs> I picked up these, like little sewn lollipops. Hug me, love, and XOXO. I think they were only, yeah, they were only $1.99, so it wasn't that bad. Last year I wanted some of these, but they sold out before I could get them, so I just picked them up. They were $6.99, a little bit pricey, but I thought they would be cute for my nieces. Um, some happy mail for my nieces. And then lastly at Michael's, I got this paper pad. It's called Misty Morning. It was $4.99, I believe. And I'll just flip through it really quickly. Um, I didn't even take the tape off the sides, but has some really pretty papers in it. I like the blues a lot. It actually would go good with that, with the die cuts. Oop, there they go. That I got free from scrapbook.com. So very pretty. I just thought it was a great deal for that pad. Isn't that pretty? So that's what I got from Michaels. And lastly, I went to Frank Garcia because they were having an after Christmas sale. <laughs> and I ended up getting a lot of the Evergreen and Holly from Vicki Booten. So I got these tags. I did get some Doodlebug design stuff too, because they were on sale. These cute little snowflakes, the candy canes, 
And then I love the Shaker Pop with the snow in it. I also picked up some of the trims of, from Blue Fern Designs. I thought that one was really pretty. Then you got this loopy one. And then this one's my favorite. Isn't that gorgeous? Here's some more evergreen and holly. And then I also got the die cuts. I think they were all half off. This was also pricey, but half off. It came with um, a doodlebug design stocking. Isn't this cute? And it was stuffed with 12 exclusive Christmas doodle pops. So I'll show you those. Came with all of these. And on the other side, I love that cookies and milk one. And then the snowman at the bottom. So cute. And then here's some of the evergreen and holly. They're called shaker stickers, but they have very little shaker in them. <laughs> so I was a little disappointed with these. They're still cute, but um, I wish they would have put a little bit more glitter in them. I think it's actually, no, it's not even falling out in the package. It's just there's no glitter in them. And then I got a bunch of the Blue Fern Studios um, stamps because they were half off as well. Isn't that one pretty? I love all of like the writing. It just looks so junk journal-y. And then this one um, was only, I think this one was the one, Gingerbread Baking Company. I think that one was only 50 cents for some reason. I don't know why. Does it gingerbread? It looks like it's spelled correctly and everything, but I don't know. I could be missing something. Anyway, <laughs> one of these two was only 50 cents. So if you want to go on there and check and see if it's still available, but they're both beautiful. I love them. And then lastly, I got the um, Evergreen and Holly paper pads. So I got the 6x8, and I also got the 12x12, but I'll just flip through the 6x8 really quick. I'm sure you've seen it. It's really nice. I love this page right here, the ledger. The only thing I'm not thrilled about about this um, paper pad is it's sort of like muted. Not muted, but like almost like a chalkboard um trying to think like faded maybe i should say it's not very bright so i wish it was a little bit brighter but i do love all the patterns and stuff on it she did a really good job on this i love that yellow isn't that pretty I like how the black is incorporated into this too, the black and the yellow. You don't see that in many Christmas collections. So very pretty, I think we're starting over again, but I just love it. And then again, I did pick up the, the um, oh, and I'll show you the chipboard too, the 12 by 12 as well. But here's the chipboard that comes along with it. And this was 50% off as well. So isn't that pretty? I love the cardinals. And I like the shape of the trees too. I think that's really gorgeous. So, so that's my haul friends. <laughs> I have a big pile here to put away. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you had a wonderful new year. Um, me and my husband just celebrated our 20th year anniversary yesterday. And um, it was a big one. I was really excited and um, it was really nice. We just stayed home, ordered pizza and watched a movie. It was nothing big, but we do plan on going on vacation. 
I think I've talked with you about it before. And um, right now we're planning on going either to the Maldives or Jamaica. So those are the, the two in the mix right now. We still haven't decided. It's a big decision. You know, it's hard because you don't want to go too far away because we have kids at home. And then at the same time, you want it to be, you know, a really nice vacation. So you don't want to just stay home. But <laughs> uh, anyway... You know, friends, you know how it is. But um, thanks so much for listening and supporting me. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like. Um, that really helps my channel. And until next time, friends, love ya. Bye-bye.